Hi everyone and welcome back to the Makeup Loft. My name is Ken, also known as Mr. Ken Dennis. So in today's video, we're going to be doing this eye makeup look for brown eyes. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of our new videos which are coming out very, very soon. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, so we're gonna dive right into it and we're going to start off by using this concealer as a primer. And this one is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Concealer. Just gonna use a damp beauty sponge. I'm just gonna bounce that to blend that into the skin. All right, for today's look, we're going to be playing around with three different eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is the Matte Bar Palette. And then I've also got the City Mini Palettes in Graffiti Pop. And then I've got Rooftop Bronzes. I've recently gotten into the technique of stamping and then blending method. If, however, you guys still find it really hard to blend on a wet, tacky base, feel free to apply a translucent powder before we start. Um, so here we have the Matte Bar Palette and I am going to go ahead and grab the dark brown shade. And like I said, I'm gonna do that whole stamping and then blending method. So essentially what you're gonna do is just press the dark shadow first into the areas where you need that depth. So for me, I do feel like I need a lot of definition in the outer V and then also in the crease. I also like doing my eyeshadows first before I do my base just in case there's any bit of fallout or I've, I've over blended and then I just need to clean it up. It's so much easier when I don't have the base done yet. Okay, I'm looking quite scary, but don't worry, we are going to be blending. Just give me, just give me one minute, girl. Just give me one minute. As you can see, I've already blended the eyeshadow on this eye. So basically what I did was grabbed a little bit of the shade and that shade, and then I went on top of that dark brown and started diffusing the edges first. And then this part takes a little bit of time because you're going to be sitting here blending for quite some time. And honestly, don't worry if it doesn't blend out immediately. It just means you need to add a little bit more product and then you'll get that nice smokiness that you get on the other side. I remember when I first started getting into makeup, I only would ever wear sort of like very dark eyeshadows just because I felt like the, those were the only colors that would make my eyes pop. And honestly, that is so far from the truth. Brown eyes, the possibilities are endless. You can definitely use a lot of different colors and your eyes are definitely going to pop. Today, I'm going to use um, purples to really highlight the brownness of my eyes, but I'm still going to make it wearable because I know a lot of people aren't very comfortable playing around with very bright colors. So I'm just going to try and make it as subtle as possible, but you guys are going to see it's going to make my brown eyes pop. And then for the lid color, I'm going to go into the City Mini palette in Rooftop Bronzes. So I'm actually just going to use my finger. Oh, look at that shade. Let, let's let's do a swatch, shall we? Ooh, yes, girl, that's pretty. Okay, so we're gonna use our finger for this one, and it's just a really nice deep bronzy look. Oh, girl, look at that. That's so pretty. It's definitely bringing out the warm tones in my eyes. When it comes to brown eyes, obviously there's so many different types of brown. For me, my eyes have that almost. Um, ready brown tone and I feel like these sort of like bronzy um, shades definitely highlight how warm my eyes are and I just I just love that look. Next I'm going to grab a tattoo liner and this one is in the shade Bold Brown and I'm going to do sort of like a smoky um, wing eyeliner look and then I'm just going to grab a small um, smudger type brush just going to soften that all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then we're going to go back into the eyes. Okay, so I have got my base on, I've got my brows and I do have some finishing powder underneath the eyes, baking powder, whatever you like to call it. Um, I have the um, Fit Me Loose Powder in number 10. So I like to keep it there because I am going to be blending a little bit more eyeshadow on the lower lash line and it's going to catch any fallout if there's any and it's also going to help with um, blending it in with the rest of the skin. I am holding another tattoo liner and this one is in the shade. Ooh. Rich Amethyst. So I am actually going to pop this on the lower lash line and also the waterline. This is a great way to add a little bit of that pop of color. And again, purples work really well with brown eyes. This is just a nice subtle way of um, making your eye color pop, but also not drawing too much attention, if that makes sense. It's just very, very subtle. On a smudger brush, I'm going to be grabbing this sort of like aubergine shade. It's very dark, but it has that obviously purple shift to it. How I like to um, smudge my lower lash line is first by popping that color on top, sort of like patting motions, kind of setting that eyeliner first. 
and then I'm going to start smudging on the edges. Okay, so we're nearly done with the eyes, so I'm just going to go back into the Rooftop Bronzers palette, and I'm going to be grabbing, um, I'll grab this sort of like very light champagne shade, and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner just to bring in some light. As you guys can see, I've got some lashes on, but I'm also going to blend that in with some mascara. And I'm also going to put that on my lower lash line. So I've got the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. Ooh. And then for blush, I'm going to go for a light touch of blush. Um, so I'm going to be grabbing the Fit Me blush in number 25. So that's what that shade looks like. As you can see, there are some bronzy tones on my eyes. So I definitely feel like I need to bronze my skin. So I'm going to be grabbing my City Bronzer. And this one is in number 300, Deep Cool. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be grabbing my Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. It's so so, so pretty. The lip liner I'm using is in the shade 132 Almond Rose. And the lipstick is in 540 Peach Buff. And to set everything in place, I'm grabbing my Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. All right, guys, so that is the final look. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And yes, um, black, dark browns, purples, blues are definitely going to make your brown eyes pop. But don't limit yourself. As a brown eyed person myself, I grew up thinking I could only play around with those colors to make my eyes pop. Honestly, when I started playing around with different um, eyeshadows, I started to realize different colors bring out different aspects of the brown tone in my eyes. It's, it's really hard to explain. Whenever I wear green, I feel like it highlights the red tones in my eyes. And then whenever I wear um, pinks as well, it also highlights the reddy tones in my eyes. But then when I wear um, shades like yellow and orange, they definitely just bring out sort of like this orangey tone in my eyes as well. It's really, really interesting. It's very, very pretty. Um, and yeah, I feel like we limit ourselves sometimes um, in terms of color, but we shouldn't be afraid because the possibilities are endless with brown eyes. You can wear pretty much anything and it's just going to make your eyes pop. Just it's just that. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you guys haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And also that notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of our new videos. And don't forget to share this with your friends and family. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next Makeup Loft video. Bye.